Hello everyone, welcome back to Monster Mates! Welcome to the 19th episode. Spencer, choose a number. We're running low on numbers. We're getting there. <laughs> uh, 31? 31. Oni Girls! Yes! yes! Yes, I knew this was coming eventually. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Oni Girls! Ah! Yep, so... Yay! Hold on, you might hear me typing, but I want to look this up myself. Yep. So, one ah. that you would probably automatically know is, uh, I believe her name is Dahlia from uh, Monster Prom. Yes. Yes, I oh. believe she is qualified as an Oni. Yes. Oh, man, I love, I love Onis. They're yeah. great. So it looks like they're uh, registered as Red un o red Oni under the Monster Girl Wikipedia. There's Red Onis and Blue Onis, but I kind of just mix them together because who cares? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, what's the difference? Um, d d Red Oni. Okay, so uh, I'll read Red Onis. You read Blue, blue Oni. Okay. Red Onis are alcoholic Monster Girls from Zipangu. <laughs> Sapangu, who spend most of their time getting drunk on mountain caves. Their sex lives function in much the same way. Red Onis kidnap men, get them drunk, and rape them into the state of intoxication. The Red Onis often hang around with their blue cousins, who act as the brains of the drinking group. <laughs> uh, okay. The Blue Oni is distinguished by the horns growing out of its forehead and its namesake blue skin. It's a type of ogre called an oni that only inhabits the uh, Zipangu region. Like all oni, they have a fierce disposition and extraordinary strength. They're feared by humans as monsters, but they're actually quite intelligent and rational. They also have a calm side to themselves, which is very atypical for an oni. And for that reason, unlike others of their kind, they don't randomly assault human men. They can often be seen hanging out around other oni, such as the red oni. And because of their disposition, they often serve as the brain of the group, controlling the rest and restraining their emotional and coercive actions. Mm. So do you want dumb, horny energy? Or just kind of, do you want some interesting things out of it with the blue Oni? That's basically your choice. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of the rape obviously but <laughs> um so i also see some on blue oni blue oni can drink sake infinitely becoming <laughs> infinitely drunk growing infinitely lustful and the feast of flesh tinged with sake pleasure and spirit energy will continue until either the sake runs out or the man passes out <laughs> once they are sober they go up to their intellectual state but being monsters is likely the guy and deem him most worthy as a husband and a sake snack then they'll never let him go goodness okay i am down with blue oni yeah i like blue oni but I'm not gonna lie, I like the dumb, strong, horny energy that the red Onis give off. Yeah, I, I the red Oni is fun because I like big, strong, tough, uh, big girls. Yeah. And that's where I get the feeling of red Oni. Mm-hmm. And, um... Yeah, I like, I like, um, red Oni. But I think if I had to, like, okay, red, okay, I have two mindsets on this. Yes. Go to a brothel, give me the red oni. Mm hmm In a relationship or just out in the wild or whenever you, whenever you meet these things, uh, give me the blue oni. Yes. Because I feel like the red one would be more fun, but the other one would be uh, more... Less murdery? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> and apparently they're always mm. drunk. Yes. Which is why they're red onies, because they're always <laughs> they're always intoxicated. Uh, but even the blue onies can be infinitely drunk as well, so. Uh, 
Uh, but either way, either which way, you are going to get a very drunk, very strong woman from this with horns. Uh, which is always fun. I I I think they're a little clingy because they definitely say they will you will they will never see anyone ever again because they're too busy being getting drunk and being fucked by the oni forever. Mm. The little clingy. L- little clingy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but beyond that, I think um, I think they would be fun for a brothel. Yeah, for sure. They they are the ones that you go I'm going to go get drunk. I'm going to go smash until the sun comes up. The end. Yeah, I I think for a brothel setting, Onis would be more on the expensive side because you're going to be there the entire night. Well, that's how any brothel is for Mm, the most part. Maybe. I would say for a lot of brothels, you'd probably be there just for like maybe a couple of hours. Mm Mm-hmm. Depending, but... With Onis, you're you're gonna be there the entire night. Yeah, but that, that and I feel like it's gonna be kind of like succubus as well. It's like you're gonna be tired because mm-hmm. they're gonna be having fun with you. Yes, they straight up call you flesh and eating you, even though <laughs> it's not actually eating you. It's just like they, they you you are you are paying them to have their way with you. Yes, now. I'm okay with this. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. But definitely not something you want to meet um, just randomly. Yeah, no. Unless you're specifically looking to get domed by these kinds of, like, they're classified under ogre, like, under the ogre family. It's like, unless you're looking specifically to be domed in that kind of group, then... This wouldn't necessarily be for you. Listen, man, some people would pay just to just to fucking get drunk every single day. Yeah, true. And some people, they're like, wow, I don't even have to pay. I just have to go find a red Oni. <laughs> and I don't blame them. I'd just be like, yeah, okay. I mean, mm-hmm. there you go. Uh, we didn't rate them. Oh, darn it. You're right. Um, um, if I, okay, we talked about him already, but if I, off the bat, I would have said, like, a seven. Yeah, I would have said, like, an eight, probably. I, I would have, yeah, seven is, is a good one. Um, I don't know. In their, in their huge in size, and they're muscular, and they're, and they're cute, they're tomboys. Ah! <laughs> I don't know, I, I, mm, There's a lot of things here I like. Yeah. There's a I lot like of a good lot things. Of things. Good things. Good things. Good things. Yes. I, I would go for. If I wanted a controlled, Oni, wife, girl, I would go for blue. Yeah. But brothel crazy. Let's go all night. Red. Mm-hmm. Uh, should we give them different ratings? Yeah, for for this kind of situation, yeah, Let, let's give them different ratings. Okay. I like the design of red onis more. Like I like the red skin more than I like the blue skin. Mhm. So if I had to rate them, I would say red onis right as of right now like a 7 and blue onis also like a 7. I would say red onis would be a six, blue onis, an eight. I I just think they both have their ups and downs. Blue sure. onis, I feel like blue onis could go crazier. Mm-hmm. I mean, they'd like, infinitely drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just hearing infinitely... All I'm hearing is the more they drink, the stronger they become. Yes. Uh, the situation I'm thinking of is, if you want, since blue onis are the more intelligent of the two, I can just imagine like, as a little foreplay thing, playing strip poker with the blue oni while drinking <laughs> drinking with them as well. Oh, oh, god damn it! I'm gonna have to give blue an eight. I just read <laughs> something, I that boosted it up literally a point. Oh, it, it boosted it up. Listen to this. Whenever 
Additionally, they have a much stronger sense of shame compared to the oh. other Oni. And it co- and it easily comes to the surface. Oh. Because of this, whenever they recollect what they did when they were drunk or even just listen to an obscene or sexual story, they become so embarrassed that their faces turn bright le- red like an Oni. Okay, I think that's a nine for me now. Oh, that, oh that's a good one. Oh, that's ah. really strong. That's so good. That's like a soul. That is a point in itself yeah i i had dude i'm a big fan of oni blue onis are they're they're real good i'm i'm a mm, yeah you know what i'm gonna give it an eight i'm gonna give it a solid eight yeah trying to think is that really is that all the points we really got through trying to think if there's any more we can really Uh, do yeah they're strong as shit. Yes, yes, they are. The they, red they, onis they, and they the are, blue onis. They, they will pick you up again. They they are, will they will just hover over you, pick you up, and have their way with you. Now this is girls and boys. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Amazon position poor, anyone? <laughs> dude, poor like, Jesus Christ! I don't think a girl could do it with the oni and go back. Yeah, no, even with. <laughs> Even with like a guy on guy situation, oh goodness gracious! Yeah, you can't. Oh no! <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, I don't know you. Maybe you're already at that point. But if you're if you're willing to risk it all, <laughs> oh goodness! And you want to have just a crazy night or just throw yourself at Odie's for the rest of your life? Go for it. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're too scared to go for the centaur guys, then Oni is that one step down. I would say uh, Oni's the step down. Yes, <laughs> I I think Oni is one step down, like in proportions, we'll say, than a centaur. <laughs> you could you could literally say Big Daddy Oni. Yeah, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Big Daddy Oni. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I've read head ties about Onis. Yeah. I, I, they're they're real good. Every time I've read them, I'm like, these are good. I've I seen like a couple, these. and I enjoyed what I saw. Yes, they are they are a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, if in real life. I would not want to meet a red oni in real life. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'd be like, help, help. If I saw one in a brothel for a one nighter, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. But if I could, I would definitely be bring flowers to the the blue onis. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent. Be like, hello, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> oh, goodness. <sighs> Uh, hmm. trying to think. So they both just drink sake. They both both use cudgels. They both basically have the same attire. Yeah, which is like super Tarzan looking, which is awesome. Like literally, the, the both of them they describe you as flesh. They literally like they're, they're literally the whoever they're with is like a snack to them. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, all right. Well. <laughs> Oh uh, goodness! So, yeah, because once they once they drink too much, they just become into lecherous perverts who seek pleasure and spirit energy. So yeah. it says here. Yeah, I can get into that. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so I think that's. I don't think I'll ever out drink an oni. <laughs> oh no! You'll definitely no. <laughs> you'll you'll definitely go. You'll you'll definitely get. I'll drink, she'll, I'll drink you to hell. Yeah, you will die before you even get to a quarter of her level. Don't don't even try to outdrink her. You will go under. Yeah. I okay. Final ratings. Final I, ratings. Yes. Yeah. I would have to give Red Oni a seven. Mm-hmm. I would love to have a one nighter. Hate the next morning. But be like, I can at least leave now. Mm-hmm. 
with blue only yeah like i want to say nine but nine is so high I, i'm gonna give it like eight eight and a half okay because it's just it, it's i love it but i don't drink a lot like i drink now and again but i don't drink a lot so like mm-hmm. constantly getting drunk is like oh god <laughs> <laughs> um i think for me red onis are at a six Again, all I can really see is the horns and big, dumb, horny energy. <laughs> so The biggest, dumbest snoo snoo. Uh, so I would seek that out only like maybe once in a while, probably. She will then, unga bunga you. Then for blue onis, I can imagine myself having an absolute grand time with a blue oni, especially like doing fun, drunk stripping games with them. <laughs> So oh, that'd be great. I would, I'm giving Blue Onis a nine. That's my second nine of all time. That is your second nine. I think we, I th- we think we gave tens to Slime Girls. I think I gave nine to Slime Girl, I think. I think you gave nine to, uh, to uh, the Android Girls. Did I? I don't remember. Anyway. I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> yes. So what would you rate a red or blue Oni, and would you sleep with either of them? Please check out, please subscribe, check out the tweets, and uh, whoever we got for the artist, please check them out. And while you do that, be sure to stay tuned for the next episode. Later.